Welcome back to Fan Talk. I'm David. I'm Simon. Today we're going to be talking about a small movie coming out this weekend. I don't know if a whole lot of people have heard of it. Um, something about Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, I think it's a part of a series. Yeah, a couple of characters from a series that I don't think anybody watches. Okay. No. <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a slow, slow moving car race. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think no, we've uh, milked that one. Yeah, it's going to be a big, uh, uh, big opening weekend for this movie. Uh, yeah. It's basically the spinoff, obviously, of the Fast and the Furious franchise, or it's our, uh, eight movies deep of uh, Corona and Family of Their Own. Um, and this is, uh, uh, I guess, the series is trying to maximize profits. This is maybe from a slightly uh, critical or uh, cynical look, but maximizing profits by splitting the two biggest stars, uh, Vin Diesel and Rock, into their own related franchises to yeah uh and obviously there's always been stories about on the set right uh, yeah, on the set rivalries whether or not they really like each other or not not gonna get into not that here get into but, it, but there's plenty of money to be made and it, it you know having them each in their own thing on the same under the same umbrella of the series is a smart play for the studio it makes sense yeah. so uh we're gonna go ahead and watch the trailer and uh, i think this is the official trailer number two They had good on screen bickering. <laughs> Classic Jason Statham. They both are pretty charismatic uh, yeah. actors, and it really just comes through when they're working together. Access granted. Access denied. <laughs> She's in a Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah. And I want it back. These movies are actually a lot of fun. All the stream action and oh yeah. I mean, forget physics and safety. I mean, they're just fun. Becomes my business. This whole thing sounds really dodgy. Your system. Listen, I'll handle it. The only way we survive is working together like a team. Let's do this. Buckle up, fat boy. On my three. One. Ah! Woo! Hey, see the look on his face? I have no idea how long I've been waiting to do that. Let's see if we can get him sick. So you guys are being hunted by an army of mercenaries led by a genetically enhanced soldier. Look at me. I'm Black Superman. You're crazy. It's actually Black Captain America. Damn. <laughs> he really is Black Superman. You need to get off the grid. <laughs> home. My baby's come home. I'm sorry. Moana? Oh, just kidding. I need my brothers. This family is going to war. We're going to need cars and guns. Mama, where's all our guns? I can read of them. Very noble, Mrs. Hobbs. No, it sure is trouble. That's an understatement. Let's get old school. It's tied to the car. <laughs> and to another car. <laughs> and to another and car. And another car. It's a lot of cars. Hey, at some point, the weight would outdo its lifting capacity. <laughs> so forget physics. Just, have fun with it. <laughs> just, just enjoy the movie. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> but you know what, though? I like the joke around and knock around, but realistically like 
that kind of stuff always happens in movies. I mean, I was in the military, and I can tell you right now, I've shot a lot of cars. A lot of cars. Did any blow up? None of them blown up. <laughs> I know. I right? know. It's, <laughs> it's really hard to get a lead bullet to make a spark. Just Go saying. Figure. Just saying. I've, I've so, shot a lot of cars. So you're saying the action movies of the 80s were not believable? No. No. Not Actually, at all. to be fair, the, a lot of the Fast and the Furious trilogy, and especially this uh, latest movie, it feels like a... It's a natural progression of like the Schwarzenegger Stallone. Over yeah, the top. exactly over the top, and just to have some fun with it. I mean, you could sit there and pick any movie apart. Like, is somebody really going to fall from that high and be able to, you know, keep doing what they're doing? Uh, I mean, one of the the best critical things you can always pick out of these films and these action movies is this their ability to just take so much abuse. <laughs> I I have yet to see somebody get smashed with a crowbar. Right, one time, even in the shoulder, you hit somebody in the shoulder with a crowbar. I want to see a movie like that one day, though, like an action movie where, like, dodgeball. Yeah, Who, literally, when somebody gets hit, <laughs> they're just like hurt, you yeah. know. And, and and on the other side of that, though, it's like these people get hit and beat and just keep crawling their way through it. Yet, you know, sometimes somebody just throws a punch and the guy's just knocked out. Oh, that guy's getting knocked out. It, yeah, and, and I'm like, how? I, I've also boxed and I've been knocked out and never was it just like one like wham and it's like I'm out. Yeah. You know, it's usually, I don't know. But it, but they're still fun to watch, <laughs> yeah. you know. So it's like, it's enjoyable. It's great. I mean, it's about a production. It's, it's about a, entertainment. Value. It's escapism because you just want to go watch it and have fun watching these people and everyone loves watching The Rock. Oh, and yeah. Jason Statham. He's one of my faves. I mean, ever since he busted in the movie scene, you know, uh, one of the movies I really love is <laughs> that not a lot of people, uh, I've talked about it. He was in uh, Be Cool. Mm-hmm. I love that role for him. It was Forgot hilarious. He's he's just he, uh, to me. He, he's really shown his ability to be several different characters in all different genres, and he's he's a delight to watch on television. So I mean, you remember, I remember this one. I actually you know you do, but the uh, the unofficial moment that he became you know the you know the, one of the biggest action stars on the planet when the torch was officially passed by Arnold himself. And uh, the rundown. Yeah, the rundown. Uh, Schwarzenegger had a cameo at the very beginning, <laughs> passing him right by the rock in the bar, and he's like, have fun. <laughs> and uh, that movie was fun. It didn't do as well as I think uh, it should have, but it was a fun little movie. Yeah. Um, it was kind of beginning, towards the beginning of the rock's action career, and uh, all towards the end of Stifler's action career. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so Hobbs and Shaw is going to come out this weekend. Yep. yep. And uh, we'll see if it's uh, going to take the number one spot, which if tracking holds, which we've talked about tracking before, it's just a it's a marketing tool, not actually what it tracking things that actual open to uh, box office weekend uh, totals. But um, if it holds its tracking things, it will should take the number one spot if uh, Lion King drops uh, any kind of decent amount. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see which one gets the number one spot. Yeah. Um, but that's the primary one move opening this weekend, um, and it will have the rest of August to uh, play out with uh, school starting. There's no major uh, blockbusters coming out for a few weeks after that. Yeah. But uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it, and uh, after we do go see it, we'll uh, come back here and uh, share our thoughts. Right. Until then, uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Fan Talk, guys.